and I am Sharon Diaj. So let's see in the introduction. What is a compiler? A compiler is a software that converts a program written in a high level language or into a low level language. There are many two types of compiler, cross compiler and source to source compiler. A cross compiler is the one that runs on a machine, for example, suppose A, and produces a code for another machine, suppose B. Now it is capable of, that is machine A is capable of creating code for a platform other than the one in which the compiler is running. And another kind of compiler is source to source compiler. This kind of compiler translates source code written in one programming language into the source code of another programming language. This kind of compilers are also known as transcompiler or transpiler. Now coming to the topic, which our topic is parse tree. So what is parse tree? This term parse tree consists of two, uh, two words, parse and tree. Now parse means to resolve a sentence into its component parts and describe their syntactic roles or simply it is an act of person as string or text. And tree, as we all know, it's an abstract digital, digital type, unlike linked list, tag, and queue, but it is nonlinear. It consists of a root value, subtrees, or youngsters with a parent node represented a group of linked tree. Now, what is parse tree? A parse tree is a hierarchical representation of terminals or non terminals which represent the derivation of a grammar to yield input strings. The starting symbol of a grammar must be used as the root of the parse tree, and leaves of a parse tree represent terminals. Each interior node represents production of grammar. Now we will be seeing some of the rules of drawing a parse tree. All leaf nodes must be terminals, and all interior nodes must not be terminals. And in order to traversal leaves, original input string. Okay, now we are moved to the uses of parse tree. So first we can see that it helps in making syntax analysis by reflecting the syntax of the input language. And second point is that it, it uses an in-memory representation of the input with a structure that conforms to the grammar. And last but not the least, the advantage of using parse T rather than symmetric actions you will make multiple passes over the information without having to reparse the input. And uh, the in the next top, uh, slide, we can see the conclusion. So conclusion is that the parse T is a graphical representation for the derivation that corresponds to the input program. Basically, parse T is a graphical representation of symbol. The symbol can be terminal or non-terminal. The root of the parse T is the first symbol. Parse T follows the precedence of operators. Uh, context free languages are, and regular languages are for both closed and standard operations. We all know that it is always closed standard or union and concatenation operations. Next slide. Uh, so the next question is the state true or false, which of the, uh, which of the following explanation? The financial machine can be designed to uh, add two integers of uh, of any arbitrary length, arbitrary length, uh, but the answer is false because the financial missing uh, financial missing cannot have finite it has a finite memory, so it cannot hold uh, or cannot store that many amount of uh, bit uh, of in an arbitrary length string. Next slide. Uh, now question number three: State whether the following statement is true or false. Regularity in is preserved under the following operation in uh, operation of st uh, string reversal. Answer is false. Next slide. Uh, the if a context free grammar is ambiguous. Is uh, yes, and then the, the options are a grammar contains unusual, uh, useless non terminal. False. Uh, it produces more than one parse tree for some sentence. Yes, that is the answer. Uh, some production has two. A non terminal side by side by side on the right hand side, no, it's not. And D, none of the have no. So the answer is B. Uh, Fortran is Fortran is a context sensitive language. Thank you. Good presentation by all of you. Presentation of okay, good. I this thing okay, good presentation. Shantan, where you are joining?